Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. In this guide video, we're gonna be taking a close look at five mid-range regulators. Uh, so these are sitting between the four and 300 pound mark. Let's take a closer look. So this range of regulators sits between the three and 400 pound mark. They got lots of features all over them, bumping them up above that sort of basic range, uh, but they don't have all the bells and whistles and uh, sort of performance that the high end regulators might have. Okay, so we're gonna start left to right. So we're gonna start off with the Apex XTX 200 with the FSR first stage. So this is a great cold water regulator. Uh, if we start off looking at the first stage itself, uh, it's environmentally sealed, um, great for cold water. It's overbalanced as well. So actually the deeper down you go, the better gas flow you're gonna get. It can actually deliver more gas to you the deeper down you are. Uh, four low pressure ports and two high pressure ports. Uh, the high pressure ports are angled downwards, uh, so that makes it a little easier for hose routing. The, um, the low pressure ports, they're parallel um, to one another, so that can make uh, sort of multiple hoses a little sort of stuck together. Um, it's not a huge issue, but if you've got a big bulky uh, sort of hose or hose uh, protector, uh, it can be a little awkward to, uh, to mount onto that. Not a huge issue, but just something to worth uh, sort of take note on. Comes as standard with a braided hose, so, um, so more flexible and a lot lighter than, um, than traditional rubber hoses. Uh, a lot of them, they also have a, a higher burst pressure. Uh, one thing that most people don't notice on the, um, uh, on the XTX range is that the nuts on the, uh, on the end of the hose, it has this little flat section. This is for a cable tie so that you can attach a, a bolt snap onto that. So Apex, of course, very technical regulators. Uh, so you can clip this stage off um, onto a D-ring and that just gives you a little mounting point. All of this acts as a nice big heat sink for cold water um, and as you can see it's ambidextrous. So you can get a technician to open her up, take the barrel out of the inside, turn it around so that the hose mounts out of the left hand side. Um, you have two adjustment on this, you have adjustable venturi uh, on this section here. So that's more for sort of on the surface when you're first getting in. Um, you can adjust it so it interrupts a free flow. Um, but most people just switch it to dive mode, especially on their primary for the XTX 200. You've got adjustable breathing on one side, so you can dial it in all the way uh, to make it a little bit stiffer or unscrew it to, um, to make it a bit lighter. Uh, if you're a bit more tech savvy uh, on sort of how to look after your regulators, you can actually uh, sort of pop this little cover off. There's a little um, sort of Allen key in that. You can unscrew that so when they're in storage, they're, um, uh, you haven't got quite as much pressure on that seat. The purge button on the front, uh, it's just this central X. Um, no matter where you push on it, uh, it, do it doesn't matter, that's going to, uh, to purge it. Very easy to, uh, to find and use. And it comes as standard with their Comfort mouthpiece, a lot smaller uh, and a bit tougher than a traditional mouthpiece. But you've got this bridge going over the top. Uh, it just means that you don't have to bite down quite so hard on it. It's, uh, it naturally sort of sits in your mouth. So you don't have to bite down on it quite so hard so you don't get that jaw fatigue. It also has a handy little feature with the exhaust tee. This is the large exhaust tee, which pushes those bubbles way away from your face, but you can actually take that off um, and swap it for a more compact version that comes with it in the box. Uh, so it makes it a more rounded um, second stage. Um, they just clip together uh, very quick and easy. All in all, very nice um, sort of second stage. I myself, I use the XTX 50 uh, with a DST first stage. Uh, the XTX 200's just got sort of uh, more metal parts, so it's a little bit better at cold water. Very nice, um, very nice regulator that is. Okay, then on to Oceanics, uh, sort of mid-range, or actually this is more of their high-end uh, regulator. This is their Zio with the FTX I. Uh, so again, cold water rated, environmentally sealed. The first stage is a bit more compact. Um, they've kind of milled a lot of the, uh, the metal work away and uh, they've covered it in this polymer sort of plastic, which gives it a nice look, uh, makes it a lot lighter than the, uh, the FSR of the Apex. Uh, environmentally sealed, cold water rated, you've got four low pressure ports, two high pressure ports. Um, this is more, it, it's kind of a wheel and spoke, they call it inline, um, but it's, it's got nice angled ports, so it's easy to, uh, to route. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice first stage, it's nice and lightweight, so you can still travel with it. 
Another braided hose, so uh, so again lighter and more flexible than a uh, traditional rubber hose. And then onto the Zio. So the Zio is uh, is the only one on the table that has a, um, a ball joint on that. So um, so this articulated hinge just means that that hose can come in at a greater range of angles, and uh, and it flexes whilst you're in the dive. So uh, so it doesn't matter if you kind of look around, your um, that hose is never going to like tug on that second stage uh, and sort of pull the reg out of your mouth. It's a, a great invention. It does make finding replacement hoses a little bit trickier, uh, but as long as you look after your hose and don't um, sort of scratch on rocks and whatnot, leave it out in the sun, it uh, it should be fine. Onto the second stage itself, the purge button, you've got a flexible purge button on that that covers most of it, uh, so just push on that internal logo and, uh, and that's going to activate that purge button. Quite handy because you can push it a little bit uh, or you can push it all the way depending on how much gas you want to let into the uh, second stage. You've got two adjustment on this, you've got Venturi and breathing adjustment. Venturi either on or off, it's got some clicks on that, but um, don't worry, it's either on or off. And then with the uh, breathing adjustment, if you unscrew it, it makes it a lot lighter. Screw it all the way in, eventually it'll click. As soon as it starts to click, that's it's sort of ratchet saying it's, uh, it's reached its maximum. That's as stiff as it's going to get. You've got their orthodontic mouthpiece on this. So most of it is very flexible, except for the bit that you actually bite down on. These are a bit tougher. These are very tough, so you can really bite down and chomp down on them. Don't have to worry too much about uh, ruining these mouthpieces or chewing through them. They're very, very tough. And on the underside, you've got a simple exhaust tee that just pushes it out of the side. It's quite a uh, elliptical second stage. It's, uh, it's quite sort of squashed down. It's nice and small and compact. It's got some good styling to it uh, with that sort of chrome finish to, uh, to a lot of the parts. Um, yeah, a good little regulator from Oceanic. Then we're moving on to Cressy. Uh, so Cressy, this is the master. Um, if we look at the first stage first, we've got some cool coloration on that uh, with the T10. It's kind of got this matte finish to it. Um, with that kind of bronzy brown and then the silver. Environmentally sealed uh, as the others, so you don't have to wash it quite as thoroughly, but it still transfers that ambient pressure to, uh, to balance that regulator. Uh, everything on this is kind of metal, so even the DIN wheel is metal. Um, you've got angled ports, two low pressure ports and two high pressure ports, um, same on either side. Uh, a very simple, compact little um, first stage, a little bit heavier than that uh, Oceanic FDXi. It's a good chunk of metal, but this acts as a good heat sink in, uh, in colder waters. This comes as standard with a rubber hose, uh, so the old traditional style, and that connects to the second stage, the master, uh, which has some very uh, sort of unique styling to it from Cressy, Italian brand. So you've got that kind of hatching uh, on the front cover. Uh, your purge button, all of this is your purge button. It's a little bit stiffer than that, um, than that Zio, but uh, again, wherever you push it, that's gonna activate that purge button. Metal front cover as well, acts as a bit of a heat sink, um, and it's got, a, um, it's got a fairly sort of sharp feel to it, um, and that sort of polymer, different colors polymer, gives it a nice finish to it. Venturi is on the top this time, uh, and it's really spelled out for you. You've got a dive and pre-dive mode. So pre-dive is going to interrupt free flows as they occur. Uh, dive just uh, improves the airflow, so it's a bit more natural to breathe. You've got a adjustable breathing effort. This is quite stiff when I first got it out of the box. It's still quite stiff. Um, but we've got that big crenellation on this uh, sort of metal. All of this is metal, so it's got a good feel to it. Even if you're wearing big chunky gloves, um, all that crenellation, you're gonna grab hold of that and you're gonna be able to adjust it. When it's all the way in, it does touch the body a little bit. I don't know whether that's supposed to make it stop or, or whether that's its natural stopping point. Um, but uh, it's, it's quite a stiff breathing adjustment, so you're not gonna adjust it accidentally. Very basic mouthpiece, um, sort of soft and flexible, um, small biting area, and you've got a compact little exhaust tee on that to, uh, to diffuse the bubbles away from it. Then we're gonna move on to the Mares Abyss. Uh, so the Abyss comes in this orientation with a 52X first stage. Uh, my first ever regulator was a Mares Abyss, the, uh, the older version of this. Um, metal body second stage, but if we focus on the first stage first. 
Uh, so the 52X has slightly better performance than the 22X. Um, it's got good styling. Uh, Mario is another Italian brand, so it's got some Italian sort of fashion styling in that. You've got, again, four low pressure ports, two high pressure ports. These are angled as well, so it's a little bit easier to, uh, to route. Uh, but this one isn't environmentally sealed, so you do have to wash it out a little bit more thoroughly to make sure you get all the salt and any um, sort of verdigris buildup or any contaminants that can get inside. Uh, you just have to flush them out. So warm, soapy water is best for that. You just have to do it a bit more thoroughly than an environmentally sealed regulator. These fins down the side, these act as a heat sink, so they improve the cold water performance, and they act so that as you're uh, sort of swimming through the water, it actually allows the water to flush um, across it, acting as a better heat sink. Moving down to the second stage, it comes as standard with a braided hose, like a lot of the others, lighter and more flexible, uh, also better at uh, resisting UV rays than uh, traditional rubber hoses. The second stage itself, is uh, a full uh, metal body second stage. So on the abyss, all of this acts as a giant heat sink, so that's gonna warm up the gas as you breathe. It also acts as a bit of a condenser, so whenever you breathe out, water moisture is going to um, sort of condense on the inside of the second stage, so that when you breathe in, it's not quite so dry. So you won't get that dry mouth. It also has a clever bypass tube so instead of the gas coming straight into the second stage, muddling around and then eventually making its way to your mouth, it comes through this bypass tube, which creates a bit of a vortex, which means that you get a very smooth breathe. Instead of um, some that can kind of flutter, it's a very smooth draw because it pulls that diaphragm in. So whenever you breathe, instead of that kind of fluttering, it's very smooth as you breathe in. Purge button, um, solid circle on the front, very quick and easy, um, no messing around with that. Again, if you push on it a little bit, you'll get uh, a little bit of gas, push all the way in and you'll get its full, um, its full range. Traditional mouthpiece, a um, bit more rigid, a bit harder, uh, but you've got a bit more of a, a bite onto that and a, a fairly traditional uh, exhaust tape. No adjustment on this because you don't really need it. Um, the Abyss, the way they've set it up, uh, it kind of resists free flows in itself. You've got the mesh grid on the front, so if you're swimming into oncoming current, that diffuses the water so it's not gonna push on that diaphragm and open up that valve. Then for the final one, we're moving on to the Scuba Pro Mark 17 Evo with a G260 second stage. Uh, so the Mark 17 Evo is, uh, is an upgraded version of the Mark 17. Uh, they made a few changes on the inside just to improve the performance, especially for cold water performance. This is environmentally sealed, um, very strong, very tough. You've got rubber caps at the end of each, so it's, uh, you can kind of knock it around, it's, it's tough. You've got big heat sinks on it, uh, so that's going to improve the cold water performance. Two low pressure ports and, uh, sorry, four low pressure ports and two high pressure ports angled out of that. You also get a, um, a little nut that can fit into your high pressure port. This is for a, a wireless air transmitter. Comes in the box as standard, you don't have to use it, but if you have a big chunky um, uh, wireless air transmitter and you need to step it away from the body of the first stage a little bit, this just pulls it away a good sort of centimeter or two uh, so you can mount that, um, that transmitter. Comes as standard with a uh, traditional rubber hose, tough and heavy, um, but, uh, but reliable. Uh, we've been using them for years. And then onto the G260 second stage. So this has the, uh, the old kind of styling of previous models, uh, just a little bit updated. You've got the metal front cover, um, lots of sort of crenellation. It's got a very sort of industrial feel to it. Um, very strong and tough, uh, good feel to it. The, the purge button itself is, uh, is solid. Uh, what well, this is quite nice is that um, one, yes, with the others, no matter how hard you push it, you can adjust exactly how much gas comes into it, but it has a storage mode. So you can push it in, twist it a little bit, and then that just locks that front cover in. So you're pushing down the purge button just a little bit, and that relieves the pressure that's um, going on that seat inside of the second stage. So it's not gonna bed in quite so fast. So when they're in storage in your cupboard, um, you can just leave it in this setting and, um, and they'll last a lot longer before they start to creep and they need a service. Quick and easy to, uh, to undo that. 
two adjustments on this. You've got pre-dive, that Venturi lever. Again, they're spelling it out nice and simple, pre-dive and dive. And you've got that breathing adjustment, so you can screw it in. Um, it's a little stiff at first, but when you um, start to play with it, it loosens up. Uh, obviously, give that a rinse to get any salt water that can build up inside. But it's metal, it's crenellated as well, so you've got some grip. Um, and you can adjust exactly how, um, uh, how hard that breathing adjustment is. Traditional mouthpiece, you've got a, uh, a reusable um, zip tie, which is quite handy if you bite through this mouthpiece where you know, it develops a hole, you can replace it. You don't have to um, keep a bunch of zip ties in your box. Uh, you can just reuse the one that comes as standard. And then underneath, you've got a, uh, a very compact but traditional uh, exhaust tee that's gonna get the bubbles away from your face. So let's take a look at these and hook them up to a cylinder and see how they breathe. Okay, so here we've got the XCX200. I've hooked this up to a cylinder. Uh, so pressing on that purge button a little bit gives you a little bit of gas. Pushing it all the way gives you some gas. Uh, if I switch off Venturi, it gets a little bit harder, but still won't free flow on the surface. Um, it's fairly warm in our studio today, so, uh, so it probably wouldn't free flow. Um, but yeah, that, um, that Venturi definitely, uh, definitely works. Uh, the breathing adjustments, unscrewed all the way, gives it a decent breathe. Um, screwing it all the way in. Makes it a little bit stiffer, you can really notice it. You do have to uh, sort of draw that breath out to, uh, to get anything out of it. Um, but it's still comfortable, you can still breathe uh, naturally from it. Um, it's quite a smooth breathe. There's not much fluttering uh, at all, if any. Um, and that mouthpiece, that comfort bike mouthpiece, very comfortable. It's not too big, so it doesn't go all the way down to like uh, the back of your molars. Uh, it's very small and compact, and because you've got that, um, that bridge across the top, it means that you don't have to really bite down on it to hold it in position. It just naturally sits in your jaw. This kind of sits behind your teeth and, uh, and holds it in position. Uh, very nice breathe. Uh, yeah, I'll highly recommend the XTX200. Okay, here we've got the Zio. This is hooked up to some gas now, so a little bit of gas, lots of gas. Um, Venturi off, it does start to free flow um, when it's screwed all the way out. Uh, if I screw it in, no, it doesn't flow. Um, so quite a strong, powerful purge button, as you notice. Um, I'd probably keep that, um, that sort of Venturi on. But if you want slightly better uh, sort of breathing performance, obviously when you're breathing and drawing from it, naturally um, it'll only give you as much gas as you want. Um, it's a bit, um, it's, hard to, it's hard to think of a word. It's not, it's not fluttering, but it's a bit of a strained breathe. Uh, it's not as smooth as some of the others. Um, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit scratchier, but, uh, but it delivers plenty of gas. Um, this will be great in an out of air situation. Uh, you can get plenty, plenty of gas, as much as you need. Um, I'd probably screw it in as well. That's quite stiff, so I'd probably have it somewhere in the middle. Um, so it's a bit more natural. Um, that ball joint does make a difference. A little bit stiffer when, um, when there's some gas on, it actually holds the position, but, um, but it will sort of flex and move when you need to. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good little second stage. It's very light, um, there's not much to it. So that'll be comfortable in um, uh, sort of longer dives and that uh, sort of compact shape this means um, it won't be quite as obtrusive. Um, it's not as long as its predecessor, the, uh, the EOS. Um, it's a bit more compact. Uh, it's a good little second stage. Okay, so now we have the Cressy Master. So this is hooked up to gas. Uh, purge button, first of all, pressing it a little bit. Gives you a little gas, pushing it all the way. The Venturi's on. Gives you a lot of gas, that's quite forceful. Uh, switching the Venturi off, this is unscrewed. So this is the lightest that it will be. Yep, that free flows, so that Venturi definitely works. Uh, adjusting it so it's on its stiffest. Still stiff, that adjustment knob. But you're only going to adjust it once, really. Uh, that's a little too stiff for me, so I'd have it sort of, uh, sort of halfway out. Um, but it doesn't free flow. Screwing it all the way back out. Uh, and Venturi off. 
fairly decent breathe. Um, it's not the smoothest uh, out of the group, but uh, but it does deliver a nice plenty uh, sort of amount of gas. Quite light, so you don't have to uh, sort of strain yourself too much. Um, fairly quiet as well. I'm not a huge fan of the mouthpiece, but um, that might just be personal preference, so, uh, so don't judge it on that. You can always change that mouthpiece if you really want. Second stage is a little bit heavier than some of the others on this list, uh, but it does have some, uh, some metal parts on it. Uh, which acts as a, a heat sink. So it's kind of a good thing that it's heavy, but if you're going on longer dives, I'd probably want a, a lighter second stage. Uh, so onto the Abyss. So the Abyss is the, uh, the full metal body second stage, uh, which makes it a little heavier, but not a great deal heavy. Not as heavy as you think. This is marine grade brass, so it's, uh, it's not that heavy, um, but still heavier. Than, I think this is the heaviest uh, on today's list. Um, Nice details on it, it's got smart design. Um, the one thing that, uh, that I'm not a huge fan of is, uh, is this section here, because this can be a little tricky to, uh, to get this hose protector off. If you need to adjust the second stage or change that hose, it's a little hard to actually get that hose protector off. You've got to unhook it from the inside, it's not the easiest. Um, so if I were to change anything, it would be that. Uh, the purge button, very easy to use. Push it a little bit, push it a lot, push it all the way in, it doesn't free flow. Um, that's partially thanks to that uh, sort of bypass tube. Uh, the breathing from it is very smooth. As I said earlier, it, uh, it won't flutter because of their, uh, their VAD, their uh, vortex assisted design. Um, nice smooth breathe because uh, you've got that uh, sort of metal body on it as well. It's not quite as dry. Uh, you'll only really notice that in long dives or when you've been breathing from it for like a good half hour or something, uh, a couple breaths, you're really not going to notice it. Uh, the exhaust tee, a little old fashioned, a little square, but, uh, but hey, it does the job. You don't really see the exhaust tee. Um, those bubbles just get deflected away from you. Um, I like the styling of it. Um, I like the toughness of it as well. Um, I wouldn't worry too much if a, uh, a boat handler um, sort of put someone else's kit on top of this. I would worry, obviously, but, um, but I wouldn't be too worried um, on this metal body because uh, that's not going to deform. This is very, very tough compared to the, uh, the polymer bodies of some of the other second stages. Okay, and on to the final one, which is the Scuba Pro G260. Uh, very strong feel to it. Um, I like the styling on it. It might not be for everybody, but I like that kind of industrial look to a second stage. Um, purge button on the front. Push it a little bit. Push it a lot. Uh, that's in dive mode as well. So it kind of wants to free flow. Uh, it kind of drags a little bit at the end. Uh, if I turn that Venturi on, it's very sharp. Um, not a very forceful there's the free flow but still stops itself um not very forceful it's not pushing that gas down you um it gives you a nice amount of gas um breathing from it is smooth um i like that um that's fully out so it's a little bit light um, screwing it all the way in <laughs> Uh, it's a little too stiff for me, so I'd sort of leave it kind of halfway out. Um, there was a little bit of exhaust tea uh, vibration when you exhale. That's not going to happen underwater. That's just that exhaust mushroom vibrating. Uh, when the water's on that, it's not going to make that noise, and so don't worry about it. Um, good feel to it. Uh, it's got a nice breathe. Uh, the mouthpiece is quite big and chunky. Um, so sort of once it's in your mouth, you know it's there, so um, it's all right. Uh, you don't have to bite down quite so hard because your lips kind of hold on to a lot of that mouthpiece. Um, but if I was to uh, buy this regulator, I might swap that. I'd probably do a few dives on this, see how it felt, uh, and then swap it out. You'll remember you've got that uh, reusable zip tie, so you don't have to worry quite so much. Um, it's a decent size. Uh, it's probably a little bit larger than uh, some of the others. Um, but you've got that um, sort of round circular styling. You've got the crenellation that acts as a nice heat sink. Uh, I definitely like this uh, second stage. So that was five of the mid-range regulators that we stock here at Simply Scuba. They're of course all available at our website simplyscuba.com. Let us know what you think of these. If you've got any questions of any of these regulators, just ask and let us know what regulators you use in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and safe diving.